Ladies and gentlemen, Wing Chun is a specific thing. You can't just master karate or boxing and take a few Wing Chun lessons and take them from someone really high up in the food chain and say you're a disciple of the top guy and then use your other skills. It shows, right? So if you do a sidekick from Wing Chun, sorry Isaiah, you can't turn away and do a sidekick like, hey, ow. Right, so Wing Chun sidekick has this thing going on. That's a WT standard, but that should be everybody's standards. It's how Uncle Yip Ma's pictures are. See, people start talking about I'm a disciple this generation that. Well, put in some evidence up. We got photos, a few films. We've got all the first generation disciples, and you could like compare and contrast. And there's con artists out there. So you got to pick which one is the con artist, right? Because they can't all be right. And one group saying one's a con artist and others, and this one's a con artist. So you, they can't, if it's all a con, I don't think that's true. So you decide who's the con artist. And if we can't talk about that, I didn't say who, right? Don't get all defensive down in the comments. What are you hiding, right? I didn't say who, but if we can't say that guy's a fraud, then what are we going to talk about? What is Wing Chun? So it's got some standards like the goat clamping stance. And you might do it differently, however you do it, but it's got to be in there, right? And then the turning on the axis. Every style on earth does that. So I don't know if that's a Wing Chun standard, but turning or stepping to a blind side. All right, so I could turn with a adduction stance to the blind side, or I could step to the blind side. Those kind of things. We're trying to explore and find those out. Another one is single arm chi sao. So seeing Isaiah in here um, are doing single arm chi sao. We'll just do a little right, a quan sao cycle. Back to tan sao. Thank you, Isaiah. And then you put two of those together, right? And then and he's got his, I got mine. And they are side by side. So if I turn towards the camera, that is called poon sao. And it is side by side. So if I roll one, it goes over the other one like this, and there's a hole in the middle. That's because it's Poon Sao rolling. And you can do it on your steering wheel. You can do it with Fook Sao's, one over the other. But if something happens in here, a jut has to come out, a man woo comes out, and we have chain punching in that hole. Thank you. Seeing Isaiah. So if I go for an attack and he clears me, I have this thing in the middle and I turn, right? I'm gonna go for a wooden dummy. Just kidding. So that was an example of I was getting through and then I had to go back down. I was getting through with this one. We'll just turn to the sides so the camera can see. So and he caught up at the end and it went from a tan back to bomb. We'll see it in the replay. Hey, Amazon. I learn it as a little drill like this. Yeah. Oh, I'll do it on this side. Yeah, so I went in and he got me a little later that time and I roll over. All right, so if you do the rolling over your own hand, right, we call that trapping the self. I trapped myself. And maybe I'm going to come over the top, but I can't start from a self trap. It's not a trap, it's a catch, Isaiah. I'm catching both of your hands here, too. So whoever has the straightest, cleanest wedge is going to survive that trap. Forward, sheer strength, right? So Isaiah's got the sheer strength right here. It's sending me down. There's mine. So that's part of the chain punch. All right, next up. Um... Poon Sao, and then the center line is Jut Punch, Jut Shun Punch, right? And then you have high and low, which we use the Guat Sao move, catch something over here, and then if someone's on top of me with their Guat, I have a Land Sao Cradle move, which is Advanced Wing Chun. A lot of you don't know how to do it. So... Next up, 
what we cover here? Sidekick so far, and the Poon Sao chain bunching. <laughs>